Hello, this is Eli with uh, D2C support, and today I'm going to go through how to deploy a workstation using a relay. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is to set up a relay uh, package. Uh, if you don't have one set up already, you're just going to go down to Network and then Packages, and we're going to we can create one just by clicking on Add. Uh, in this case, I already have a couple set up, so I'm going to click on the relay package here, and we're just going to select whichever modules you need. Uh, whichever best suit your company here and so we can kind of make this match our workstation here uh, so the only real difference between the relay uh, package and the uh, workstation package in uh, when setting it up like this is uh, you just need the relay role checked here uh, so the relay it acts as a automatic network discovery package deployer communication proxy and update server um, and I can show you a little more how that works here in just a second. Uh, but you can also scroll down here to uh, scan before installation. So if you already have like a existing antivirus, you can. It may be easier to have it. Uh, it may. It'll install a little faster if you have that unchecked. Um, it may be easier, but it's uh, probably recommended that we have that checked. It might just take a little bit longer. Uh, and then we just hit save. And then we have our relay package. And in order to install this, we just need to download it. So we can go to download here, and either like the Windows downloader, Windows Kit, uh, 32, 64 bit, or even the Linux uh, downloaders or Mac Kit. Um, so the difference between Windows downloader and the Windows Kits is the uh, Windows Kits are the full installation files, and the uh, Windows downloader is the uh, will automatically detect which version of Windows it's operating on and choose the best uh, version accordingly. Um, so, the just to go in here to the workstation uh, package real quick, uh, just so you can see the uh, you only really want one relay uh, depending on your network size. Uh, so the workstation packages are gonna ha are not gonna have that relay role attached to it. So if we go in here to network, I can show you how that works. Uh, so the endpoints will. Uh, show up as a blank screen, a little gray blank screen here um, when nothing's installed on it but it's detected on the network and as soon as you install a uh, relay it's going to run a network discovery and the relay actually looks like this with the uh, two lines uh, and the normal endpoint uh, with gravity zone installed on it will have the little B here with the uh, blue background um, so if you do need to run a network discovery or if you uh, if you had an endpoint that you maybe wanted to reconfigure and turn into a relay, uh, you can just go to tasks and then reconfigure client. You can turn that into a relay here. Um, and then if you do that, you can go back in here to tasks and then network discovery. And then that'll run a discovery. It could take up to an hour, but it should find a the device is based on the uh, uh, Windows uh, browsing service, uh, Windows file browsing service. And so now in order to deploy from that relay, all we have to do is right click on the desktop and go to tasks. And we just need our network credentials. Uh, so username, password, um, you can add as many as you need into in here, um, depending on like your network size. Um, in this case, I only have the one work group, so I'm just going to use the uh, username and then the password. But if we're on a domain, uh, we can use a uh, username at domain or a uh, domain uh, slash username. Uh, then we're going to come down here, and it's going to ask us which relay we want to deploy it from. In this case, we only have the one, so we still have to check it just to make sure it's checked. It's going to have that blue check mark, and then we're going to choose which package we want to use. Uh, in this case, we're going to use that workstation package we talked about earlier, and save. This is going to create a task. It's going to go into the task section. Uh, in this case, I have a, probably a lot of failed ones here, uh, but we can come in here, and then it's going to be pending. And this could take uh, maybe, depending on network, maybe like a half an hour. Uh, usually for me, it takes a uh, just a little bit longer to get installed. Uh, it's just a older laptop. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and then I'll pick up again once this is installed. All 
Okay, so now that we have our endpoint installed, uh, we can assign a policy to it. Uh, to do that, we're just going to right click and then go down to assign policy. And uh, by default, we have our AV quarantine policy enabled. Uh, so I'm just going to change this to our test policy here. Or, uh, we can just do D2C lab just to, for an example and then finish. And actually, if you want to, uh, you can assign a, a different policy for any uh, endpoint that goes into that company just by right-clicking on your company here and then assign policy. And then you can go down to the drop-down and select which uh, policy you want there. Um, but that is about everything for deploying the relay. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Have a great day.